Well, welcome back. What have you been up to since we've seen you last? Uh, just training, practicing, uh, getting better. You know, I'm a black belt nowadays, uh, but I still have a lot to learn. What sort of things have you been working on? Uh, in whole, just a little bit of everything. You know, typically known as a wrestler prior. Um, I'm doing my best to be very well-rounded nowadays. What do you think of your matchup? I'm very excited for my matchup. You know, this is essentially our tiebreaker. We're 1-1. One, one. Uh, me winning the most recent uh, competition that me that myself and Roberto had. And I'm looking just to go out there and, you know, chase the submission. I'd really like to submit this high-level opponent. How do you think you've improved, and how do you think he's improved since the last time that you guys... I I'm fairly certain that we've both made tremendous strides towards uh, in in our jujitsu in multiple multiple ways, and uh, you know I'm looking to just go out there and be very dynamic and uh, and technical at the same time. Is your brother still competing on this card? Yes, J Rod is definitely competing. Um, I believe he's one of the first matches in the in the main card, and he has a tough opponent. And uh, I'm looking forward to that match. You know, J Rod has J Rod's only a purple belt going against a uh, a black belt world champion. I believe he's a gi world champion. His opponent, and uh, I'm looking forward to go out for him to go out there and uh, you know do what he does best. Will you be able to watch and maybe even coach a little bit, or are you going to have to be focused on your match? Yeah, I won't, I won't be out there uh, cornering. We have uh, two phenomenal corners, Nikki Ryan and Damian Anderson will be cornering. But I know, I'll be watching in the back and, uh, and uh, you know, preparing for my own match. But uh, I'll be out there in, in spirit, most definitely. Is this the first time you guys have competed on a really big card together? I believe so. I believe we've, uh, you know, we've competed – we competed together growing up, you know, we're, we're wrestlers from New Jersey, so we've been in, you know, uh, in tournaments and whatnot, but uh, this will be our first, our first like, professional event competing on the same card, so it's going to be a, an awesome experience for, for both of us. Did you give him any advice specifically about fighting in this type of um, element? You know, UFC Fight Pass is different than, you know, going somewhere else. What kind of advice did you offer him, if any? Yeah, uh, I would say any advice uh, towards myself and, and J-Rod kind of goes the same. Just be ourselves, do what we do in the gym, out in the competition stage. And, uh, you know, as long as we compete um, as we train, we're going to do well. I noticed some uh, videos and photos of you rolling with Khalil. Can you talk to me a little bit about what that experience was like? Khalil is a very athletic guy. I've rolled with some... Um, like NFL NFL players and he has the same like physicality as an NFL guy like thick bones obviously very strong athletic and um like he is decent technique but his athleticism overpowers like you know e even the deepest of techniques so um Mr. Roundtree a phenomenal athlete uh, and uh I believe you know my style of jiu-jitsu can can really help his uh help his uh, fighting game just because I'm a top-heavy, um, aggressive, offensive grappler, and I feel as if my style ties well with, uh, with his fighting style. I'm not sure if you follow the UFC that closely, but do, are there any fighters that you think have really good jiu-jitsu? I think Luke Rockhold has great jiu-jitsu. Uh, Gil <laughs> Gilbert Burns, I, I rolled with Rockhold recently. And um, you know, obviously, we, we had a match uh, on UFC Fight Pass uh, a few years ago. But Rockhold's a great grappler. Um, Gilbert Burns, also a phenomenal grappler. And yeah, there's a few other guys out there that, uh, that really have high-level jiu-jitsu and could, could do well in the high-level um, jiu-jitsu grappling like professional scene. Um, but you know, they, they make their money fighting. So there was a little bit of a giggle when you said Luke Rockhold. Is there a joke there that we're missing? Not really a joke, but uh, you know he's just he's just good. He's un he's kind of unexpectedly good. I uh, I grappled with with him, with Mr. Rockhold maybe like two weeks ago, and um, you know I went out there and I thought I thought it was going to be easier than it was, and it was not easy at all. It was uh, it was quite a quite a workout. Were you uh, mesmerized by his good looks? I think we might have mesmerized each other. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Last time, the last couple of times you've been here, you've made a, a bet to Gordon after the fight, to, or after the match, to try and sort of entice him into it. He's never really taken you up. Have you got another one on your mind to up the stakes and try and get him in there? I, I think Gordon's going to do everything in his power to continue to avoid me. Uh, but unfortunately for him, the longer he waits, the better I'm going to get. I noticed you called Luke Mr. Rockhold there. Did the grappling go very well for him or something? Why do you have to call him Mr. Rockhold, or is that just some respect? Uh, yeah, I just like to respect people. Um, uh, respect your elders, you know, that's all. <laughs> all good. Perfect. All right.